Hello there, it's me Lanka with you on solar photovoltaic features. Here I am going to explain solar PV characteristics, voltage current curve, maximum power point and some configurations. Solar photovoltaic cells or solar cells. Have a look on a solar cell, small square in the middle of the panel. It can be modeled to a semiconductor diode or to a PN junction, like in the middle of the picture. If you take the voltage and current relationship, it's a highly nonlinear relationship. You can see it from the equation itself. When you expose these PV panels to sunlight, it will produce a DC voltage. Solar panels and arrays. Now you know the small unit called PV cell. You can see it here. Now I am going to show you a small unit and then a panel. So this is a solar panel and then you can see there are four panels in a row what is called a solar array. Solar PV voltage current characteristics. If you measure the voltage without any load using a voltmeter as shown on my left hand side, it's called open circuit voltage. And the next, without any load, if you short circuit the path through an ammeter, we measure the current, that is the maximum current we call the short circuit current or I short circuit. So I am going to measure both I short circuit current and V open circuit voltage. I have few panels here. I will select one and uh, you can see the setup. I have uh, one ammeter, one voltmeter, radiation meter on my left hand side. You can see the radiation meter. I am going to measure the DNI value. So you can see it now uh, 1403 that is watts per meter squared. You can see the two terminals one is plus the other one is minus. Now I am going to measure the open circuit voltage. You can see the radiation is uh, continuously changing and uh, the voltage 19.678 is changing so I will keep uh, this reading with me. So similarly I am going to measure the short circuit current you can see it's one 0.529 amperes in my ammeter so I will take that one as well so I'm going to plot it on a VI graph you can see my voltage is x-axis and my current in y-axis well uh, next I am going to put a small resistor as a load uh, on the circuit and uh, I will vary that you can see uh, in my right hand side is a variable resistor and you can uh, measure the current and voltage for different uh, R values so I have a small resistor here 
you can see my voltage is 19.48 and similarly I am going to measure the current now for the same uh, resistive load so I will take uh, that value as well uh, it's uh, 13 or 12 milliamps so I will take that one as well uh, in, on my uh, data sheet similarly I change the resistive load and got as many as voltage and current pairs you can see few uh, in this table so the data point 1 is the open circuit voltage and uh, data point 10 is the short circuit current and in between uh, around in the middle you have the maximum power point and please note that when you do this experiment uh, in an outdoor environment you won't get a smooth graph due to uh, the changes in the uh, irradiance so finally you will end up with the VI curve like this and there is a maximum power point we call MPP and uh, I put the short circuit current and open circuit voltage as well on the same graph if uh, anybody wants to have the MATLAB code what I use you can have here if you want to go to the market and buy these panels uh, they will provide uh, these graphs for different irradiance conditions uh, you can see the top that is 1000 watts per meter squared when it is going down the curve is coming down and uh, you can have all these data sheets uh, similarly you can see uh, the dimensions are also given for a nice design and you will get uh, the dimension uh, in both millimeters and inches uh, you need to fix in your rooftop or any large scale power project in order to uh, have a nice and beautiful uh, design finally let me show you a small practical design if I want to develop a 3 kilowatt system you have to see the data sheets first what are the commercially available panels and uh, the things like uh, voltage, current, power for the maximum power point and open circuit voltage, short circuit current and so on. So in simple terms if I am planning a 3 kilowatt system if my uh, single panel is producing 315 watts approximately I need 10 panels so whether I am going for a series design or parallel or whatever but it depends on uh, my uh, invert and other uh, hardware capacities and their ratings in this configuration you can see I put five panels in series you will see the voltage will reach up to through uh, 200 uh, 92 volts or beyond uh, with the open circuit uh, situation another five panels in series uh, my final system will have those two sets in parallel leading to 292 volts and 10.8 amperes in the maximum power point but in a commercial uh, design you can go up to 1000 volts or beyond but it depends on the inverter capabilities, uh, temperature variations uh, in that particular country and design parameters like uh, string sizing and so on. With that I conclude this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.